Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about the general children's line in female hand or female palm. Child lines in female palm, in other words, we can say. Why I am making this video? Because I have got continuously many comments on children lines. There are some confusions. There are some questions. So that's why I make a single video in which I will try to explain about your questions regarding the marriage lines. I know that most of the people know that where is marriage line. Here is marriage line is here. I will explain in this video also. But most of the concerns regarding that. So the questions which I have received, I will try to discuss that. And I will also discuss that questions also which you have not asked. Right? Let me tell you. The first question we will discuss in this video is which lines are which line indicates the child lines. Right? Second, how many babies you will have? How can we uh, calculate the number of babies? That this person has this number of babies, this person has this number of babies. How we astrologer can calculate that? I will try to explain you. Third thing, the main common question, baby boy or baby girl? Everybody is keen to ask in India. Everybody is keen to ask whether it is a baby girl or a baby boy. So, it is more concerned. The fourth one is, how can we check twins baby on palm? That he, this person has twins baby, this female has twins. How can we check? So all four questions we'll try to discuss in this video. Right. First of all, the first question is, which, which line indicates the children line? I have already made one video on this in which I have explained that, okay, I have, in that video I have explained from here, that from here also we can check that. But let's discuss about the main thing. Here, this is a mercury finger, right? Everybody knows this is a mercury finger. And this mouth, as we know, is called a mercury mouth. And there is a small line from here, right? It is a marriage line, we can say, a relationship line or a commitment line. Any line we can say. But the main in India, it is considered or it is called as a marriage line, right? So we can also say it's a relationship line also. Sometimes we don't get married, but we have a very good relationship. This Here the line shows like this, like this. Now any line which is moving upwards from that line is known as children line. Any line which is moving upward from that line is known as children line. Okay, so these lines are many lines. It could be one or two. It could be five or six. So we need to understand. The second question is this. How can we calculate the number of babies? How many lines if you have seen, if you can see on the in, on this particular line is the number of babies line? Right. I'll give you the loop on this. But first of all, understand this. That if you see five lines, four lines, it means that she must have four or five children. It can be possible that three her children and two maybe she's uh, she's taking care of the pets. So three must be the children, two must be the pets. Five. If you can see somebody somebody has ten to twelve lines, it doesn't mean she is taking care of ten to twelve people. It means that yes, she must have three to four children. But rest of them, they are grandchildren or something like that. So the accuracy in predicting a number of babies is 50 to 60 or 70% could be correct. It is corrected in my case also. Suppose if I give prediction. So if the number of children I am predicting, I myself say that yes, is 60 to 70% accurate. Because I really, uh, like some of them are saying that yes, Accurately, but some of them saying not accurately. So that's why I'm considering it as it as a 60 to 70 percent. Because the prediction 100% prediction or 90% prediction prediction accuracy is that when you say something and as, uh, the, somebody says yes, it is bullseye. Correct. So here we can say it's 50 to 60 percent or 70 percent is correct. That number of line shows number of people she is taking care of. Right? So children is the best example of that, right? Now let's come to the third question. Baby boy line and uh, baby boy line or baby girl line. 
if you can see i'll give you the uh, okay first uh, i'll tell you the I forgot the okay my vocabulary is not good uh, first of all let me tell you how we can see that right then i'll tell you the reason behind that if you can see any line shorter or narrow shorter and narrow it shows a girl child if you can see any line thick or stronger deep then it's a boy sign why i am saying this it is like it till it was calculated it used to be calculated in earlier days because it used to be a good sign when you have a baby boy and the girl child was not considered as a good sign so the mentality or the like it shows the if you have these kind of lines it it shows the fertility of a girl fertility of a lady right it just like this soil this soil is very fertile for producing a boy or it's very fertile for producing or it is less fertile for producing that's why it is producing girl i think i have explained what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say that this girl is capable of producing a boy this girl is not capable of producing a boy it means a short thin line means it can produce a girl something something was that in our earlier days boy child was considered as a as a main main concern in the married life now the time has changed now i have seen a most prominent a long line of a baby girl also because the time has changed now they are giving same uh preference to the girl child also so if you have got this line so try to confirm do not say that yes you have a boy child can be possible she must have a girl child also so you need to confirm you need not to predict you need to confirm that are you having a girl child or a boy child first say boy child and 60 to 70% you can get the right answer right you got my point that's why i was saying 60 to 70% correct so short line girl sign long line boy sign okay fourth question how can we say a twins baby in hand twins baby the very easy sign and very you can just see a v shape sign on that line like this it could be anything like this v shape a fork shape it means that the root is the same but same root two branches so this kind of sign you can see for a twins baby sometimes you don't see the signs it depends upon the a mentality of a person what kind of person is this sometimes you need to see it very deeply the hands are so fine so fragile that you will be unable to see the lines main thing the questions which nobody asked let me give you an idea of that question if you want to if you want an answer of that you can comment me that i'll make another video the questions could be there are some lines which shows an island on that there are some lines which shows a thin line a dark line what does it actually means it concerns with the health of a child in its upbringing how it's a problem in upbringing or it's a problem in the childhood everything is calculated through these lines so this is a vast topic if anybody is interested he can or she can comment on that i hope i have tried to explain and everything i have cleared so that's all for this video i'll come with another video till then thank you very much take care